Hello, Secret Base. Welcome back to some Crusader Kings 3. I'm Hank, and we are going to be starting off with Denmark today. Now, I haven't played this uh, scenario yet. Uh, it was one of the pre-made scenarios I picked from the start screen, but I thought that it sounded really cool uh, to play the King of Denmark. I have a lot of Danish ancestry. I don't know too much about the history. I definitely don't know how to pronounce the names, but I want to jump in here and get started playing this. My goal here, if you look in the decisions, is going to be to restore the Dane Law. The Dane Law is the area of land historically that was covered by Danish law, which is Norway, Denmark, and England. Uh, not all of Britain, so not Wales, Scotland, or Ireland, but Denmark, Norway, and England. So I'm going to work on making that a thing. I'm going to try and restore the Dane Law. Um, I'm new to Crusader Kings 3. Uh, I've, I've played, <laughs> I, I guess you can say I'm new. I've played for about 24 hours now. Um, not direct, not uh, to total hours of playtime. Um, so I'm pretty new. But uh, I want to try this out and get this going, so I may have to restart several times. I'm going to be saving a lot so that I can come back in and <laughs> restart if I make a terrible decision, which is likely to happen. So first thing is I'm going to go through all of my stuff up top here. I really like in Crusader Kings 3 how they have all this stuff up top there. I'm just dismissing the tutorial stuff. But uh, here I have nominate my successor. So uh, in Scandinavian, in Denmark, and in, in these Scandinavian territories, the succession law is the Scandinavian elective. Uh, so it's not necessarily that the leader of the, uh, of the realm, and we're talking about all of Scandinavia, uh, goes to whoever it is that you choose, right? It might not be just your son. Uh, you, it's that they're actually elected. So we can look over here and we can see who is being nominated. So my brother, it looks like um, the County of Finn is nominating my brother. County of Skane is nominating my brother. Lots of people, <laughs> lots of people here want my brother. Um, this guy wants my son, but not my heir. I'm going to go ahead and nominate my heir uh, just to just to get started there. I don't really want it to go to my brother. I don't want him to be the dynasty head. I would rather that pass to me when I die and become my heir. So I'm going to choose him as my nominated successor. Next, I haven't chosen a lifestyle. Uh, it looks like stewardship. I have stewardship education, and I do have 18 stewardship, high level of stewardship. So I'm going to go ahead and pick stewardship. And what should we choose? I already have avaricious already completed. It looks like, except for... Maybe I don't have the trait yet. Um, and then I've started off with tax man. Collecting taxes is 20% more efficient. That's awesome. Um, this also gives me more tax contribution. Herigeld. So I'm going to choose... Uh, I'm going to choose... So this helps me... Directly increases taxation. Okay, my income is a little bit higher if I choose a wealth focus, or I could choose three stewardship. I'm already at 18. Uh, the duty focus bonds of loyalty that bind us do not constrict us. Um, that gives me one stewardship. Um, it gives me uh, negative five enemy agent uh, acceptance, so it makes it less likely that they're going to scheme against me, and it gives me a higher opinion of my guests and courtiers. So... Uh, I think I'm actually going to go with this one. I'm going to go with duty focus. I already have a pretty high stewardship, so I'm going to go with duty focus here. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Uh, and then we'll probably start heading down this architect. And we, might be, we might do administrator. Um, oh, we can claim throne against our liege. Uh, I don't have a liege, so I don't have to worry about that. So I think I will definitely probably start going down this architect. This is going to help me with my buildings and stuff. All right, so I've selected that. Now, now I can get married. All right, um, if you have watched my top five tips and tricks, you know that I am going to try and get married for alliance power. Why do I not? There must be something. Okay, inheritable traits. We'll do all here. Um, I'm going to want some alliance power. Uh, let's see, I'm 47 years old. <laughs> Just keep that in mind as we're picking a, a, a spouse here. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to want some alliance power. Um because I'm going after England and I'm going after uh, Norway, and those are both pretty big. 
Let's see, England. England's got a much bigger, you know, more than double the army size that I do. And Norway, Norway also has uh, just about double uh, what I do. So I'm going to want some allies here that have pretty good power. Okay, good. So Normandy, the Duke of Normandy here, he's got huge alliance uh, power. He's got lots of stuff here. So see, he's got a 17-year-old uh, that would give me an alliance. 12-year-old, um, 12-year-old. Okay, so these are all kids. Um, I want to start, well, I guess I, I already have a lot of kids. Okay, Norway, I don't want to be allied with Norway. Oh, potential ally Kingdom of France. Oh, Kingdom of France is actually not as powerful as the Duke of Normandy. All right, I'm going to go with this 17-year-old here. That's a little lecherous of me, but we'll, we'll make it happen. So I'm going to go ahead and pick... Uh, Adelis, Ad, Ad, Adelais, Adelais? I don't know. Excuse my pronunciation. I don't speak French or Danish or any of that stuff, so this is going to be pretty terrible. But Adelais, we'll call her. Um, she actually gets some prestige by marrying me, interestingly enough, even though she has a superior army. So I'm going to go ahead and send that proposal. And hopefully we get that. I already nominated my successor. All right, now the titles here. Prince Harold, that's my son. He is the de jure holder of the county of Aarhus. Well, he's also actually the de jure holder of lots of stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm not going to grant him those titles yet. I will be working towards creating these duchies. And once I do that, then I'll grant him some county titles. Uh, let's see, active election, yeah, we already selected our elector. I have some hooks so I can modify some contracts. Uh, this is probably because these are my kids. Um, let's see, why do I have these hooks? Let's go to intrigue here, check out my hooks. Uh, yeah, so this is a hook, you automatically get hooks on your kids. Um, so it looks like, okay, so he's my son too. So I have some hooks on my sons. Um, that I can use to increase, modify, and increase their taxes. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that now. Why not? Let's. Uh, do I want more money or do I want more troops? Uh, plus ten percent in troops, and he has. Uh, yeah, that would give us. That would give us well, a few more troops, or we could get some more money. I'm. I'm gonna go for the money here. I'm gonna use my hook. Uh, if you don't use your hook, then it's going to be considered an act of tyranny. So I'm going to go ahead and use my hook. I'm going to modify that. Uh, that's great. I'm also going to do the same thing for Knud. He has lower. Maybe I should have done the the levies on Harold. Uh, that's okay. Okay, I'm going to use a the hook there. We're going to get some more taxes. Now, I've got a lot of family members that can get married. And I've got a powerful vassal that demands a council position. And I've got some children that lack guardians. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the guardians here. My son needs a guardian. Uh, this is a good place also where you can get, you can start getting some uh, increased opinion. And uh, you can make some people happy by allowing them to, uh, to tutor you. Or to tutor your children, I guess. Um... Let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna go by. I'm gonna go by rank, I guess. Uh, I'll go ahead and tutor one, my first one here. Do that, and then my next son. I'll have. Uh, so this is my brother. This is the guy. Is this the guy that everybody wants to make the uh, the leader there? Uh, I want him to like me a little bit, so I'm gonna have him be the guardian of one of my sons there. This is my brother. This is a courtier. Uh, there's my daughter. Um, yeah, let's have my daughter be my son's guardian there. And then my daughter here. Um, and we'll have... Uh, my brother's already a guardian of somebody. So let's do somebody else. Uh, yeah, let's just do uh, anybody in the family. I already used you. Um, well, I don't know. Let's go for this courtier. Uh, I'm I'm still finding out more and more things, obviously, about this game. So if, if there's something that uh, you know <laughs> that I'm doing wrong, uh, please leave me a comment so I can 
you know, change that in the future. Uh, okay, here we go. Family members that can get married. My son, Prince Knud, is not married. Um, I'm going to keep trying to get some alliances here. Uh, this is the Kingdom of France again, but she's 11. I'm not going to marry him off to an 11-year-old. That's gross. He is 23. Um, the Kingdom of Croatia, who also has claims on Croatia, although I'm not really interested in Croatia. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, and, and get an alliance with Croatia. That'll be nice. Uh, my brother. <laughs> I get to marry off my brother, too, huh? Let's see if I can get an alliance for my brother. Kingdom of France. Again, she's 11. I don't want to do that. He's 41. We could do Hungary. Kingdom of Hungary. That'd be cool. All right. Let's marry him off for uh, Kingdom of Hungary. That's cool. Okay. Uh, my daughter can also get married. She is 18. The ripe old age of 18. Um, the kingdom of the high chiefdom of... Uh, Chernigov. I'm not even really sure where that is. Let's see if I come out here. This should show me. Here it is over here. Chernigov. Okay, that's cool. Um, so, yeah, she can get married and get that. Let's go ahead and make that happen. His 16-year-old son. Uh, now, her kids are going to be uh, born into his line. And they're also related, it looks like. I don't know how they are related. I'm sure we can figure that out if we go into the relationships here. Family, um, parents, somewhere. Anyway, they're, they're related somehow. They're probably cousins, something like that. Um, now, I could try and get a matrilineal. Oh, look at this. So he will accept a matrilineal marriage, too, which means that all of their kids will be born into my line. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, my son and knight, Benedict, who is 17, just barely of age. Now, we've got quite a few alliances. Uh, I don't know that we need more alliances. There's Transylvania is an option. If we do alliance power, we've got France, Sweden, uh, Bohemia. You know, we've got quite a few alliances. Now, I might want to uh, choose something else. You know, I can bring people to my court. So let's check out, before we before we do this, let's go to my council and check out what I have. So, Prince Harold, my son, he's my chancellor. He's only got a diplomacy of 10. That's uh, uh, pretty average, kind of on the weak side. My steward has a stewardship of 12. I have a stewardship of 18. So <laughs> that tells you that's, that's not very good there. Um, my son here has Marshall 15. Uh, and uh, my spy master has intrigue of 14. So what I kind of need really is a chancellor um, and a steward. Uh, so I could find somebody to join my court who's maybe high in stewardship, like her. She's got 23 stewardship. Um, now I'm not sure... I can't always choose women to be on my council, but but sometimes I can. So I don't know if that's uh, gonna gonna make a big difference there or not. She's 30. He's 17. Maybe I'll choose Matilda. She's she's 18, but she's lowborn. Um, this is from the Unicorn Rainbow House of Schlegel. <laughs> that's cool. That's a cool little uh, uh, little banner they have there. Um, obscure. Oh, okay, children are born with 100. You know what? I'm going to go for Lisan Schlegel there. I'm going to see uh, if... Oh, he loses, though. He loses 300 prestige if he marries her. Huh. I don't know that I want to do that, then. That's losing a lot of prestige. Um, let's come back. Let's close you. Let's try and find somebody else. It looks like if he doesn't marry somebody that's part of a house... He's probably going to lose some prestige. Um, so let's go ahead and keep keep on with our alliances. I mean, I don't see a problem with that. Um, we've got Bohemia. We've got Sweden. Now, Sweden. Sweden is, is, is probably a good uh, ally to have. And let me tell you why. I'm trying to go for the Dane law, which is Denmark, Norway, and England. It doesn't include Sweden. So because it doesn't include Sweden, um, I think that... I'm okay having a Swedish alliance. 
Now this is the queen mother, so this is the mother of the king there, marrying my 17-year-old son. That's kind of weird. But you know what? I'm going to do it. They are also related, uh, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> She's probably like his aunt. Um, okay, so there's that. I've got a couple more here. I'm going to go ahead and get all these people married off. Um, actually, you know what? He's okay. He's 16. I'll marry off everybody who is of age. Uh, the younger ones, I'm not going to marry off right now. So uh, we've got Transylvania, Bohemia, Transylvania. Uh, let's do let's do Transylvania here. So you know, I'm not really looking so much. Uh, to to for, for traits. You can do traits and things like that, but my heir is the one that I'm looking for traits for. I don't really care if the rest of them have, you know, significant traits that are born into the family because I'm not going to be controlling their children or anything like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send that proposal. That's going to be the last one. I'll get to the rest of you guys later. Um, and let's go ahead now that I've done all of that. Let's go ahead and unpause the game for the first time. Now, we've spent like 15 minutes already in this game, and I am just now unpausing the game. I think that's a good idea. If you're new to Crusader Kings like I am, I think that you should uh, spend a lot of time, maybe 15 minutes or so, uh, getting that stuff taken care of before you actually start the game. I'm um, glad of your marriage proposal. Okay, um, now this is the other, this is the downside of getting a lot of alliances. Okay, let me close those out. I'm already getting called to war. So the Norman conquest of England, actually, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing, except that I'm allied with Normandy. So if they win and he takes over England, that might be, that might be not good for me. Um, let's see where this takes us. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And then we're going to raise our armies. We'll unpause here. All right, so this is still showing up for me. Your cultural fascination is now battlements. I don't think I'm the cultural leader here. Um, so I don't get to choose the cultural leadership. Um, all right. My son. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened there? My son, Prince Benedict Spenson, is now my heir. Why? What happened to my, what happened to my other son? Did he die? But my heir is all the way down there. Huh. Why Why is he now my heir? That's really weird. Why is this guy not my heir anymore? Now, he is not part of my dynasty, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. He is part of my brother's dynasty. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't really know what that means. There are they there are members of your dynasty further down the line of succession. You should make sure that one of them stands to inherit. So I don't want that son, I guess, to uh, be my heir. So I want to do something else. Maybe I want to have another son. I, I don't know why he is. I don't know why they picked. I don't know why he was picked as my heir instead of this guy. Uh, He's already married. Uh, I wonder if I can disinherit him. I can. I can disinherit him. Um, okay. Well, I don't think we're in any trouble with that right now. I'm going to leave that because that could have lasting repercussions. So I'm going to leave that for now. Let's see. I already nominated my successor, didn't I? No, it says I didn't. Um, um, I'm going to go with my son. This one likes me more, so I'll go ahead and go with him. And he's got more points anyway. So I'm going to 
go with him. Cast my vote. There we go. Uh, okay, so let's take my troops here. We're going to uh, England to help out with this uh, Norman conquest over here. Let's see what that does. That might that might throw a significant wrench in my plans, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Uh, my court chaplain has poor learning skill. Yeah, my court chaplain, unfortunately, I can't do anything about my court chaplain. Uh, here, I can't change my court chaplain because I'm Catholic, and so there's not much I can do there. But that's that. All right, we're sieging Kent. What I think I do want to do, however, is check maybe for a chancellor that has better... Uh, this guy has slightly better, but not much. How about uh, for a steward? Do I have anybody with higher stewardship skill? 13, only 12. Okay, so not really. Um, and it looks like uh, the, the lady that I married my son off to, I can't choose her. That could be because she's not actually in my court, maybe? I don't know. Let's see, they're trying to get me. I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to take on these guys alone. Run away, run away. Okay, here we go. I will definitely join in <laughs> this battle, but I don't want to take any of those guys on alone. All right, there you go. We are cooking with gas now. He's at 61%. That's going pretty well. I'm going to just follow along here. Ingrid comes of age. Okay, Ingrid comes of age. Ingrid, I don't think, is somebody that we married off, which is going to mean that we can marry her off. I'm going to pause real quick. Um, designate a guardian for him. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. My sister-in-law, you can be his guardian. Um, my family members. Okay, so this is uh, her. She's now 18. Oh, this one's, she's already of marriable, marry, marriage age too. Um, Athlone is all the way over here. So I could marry her off to him. Uh, again, I guess I don't really care about her kids having um, inheritable traits necessarily. So she doesn't have a lot of options here. So I am going to let's try. I don't know. Let's try some uh, some traits. Let's do inheritable traits. Quick, comely, hale, handsome. Ooh, this guy's handsome. Uh, okay, his name is Odd. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to use matrilineal marriage here. Uh, go ahead and arrange that one. And my son and knight. Why? He's obviously old too. Sven Svensson. Let's see. Let's see, these are all lowborn. Um, let's see about prestige gain. No, nobody that I can get prestige from, at least not that has inheritable traits. None of the nobles, it seems, have inheritable traits. That's kind of uh, that's kind of lame. None of these nobles actually have inheritable traits. Um, I don't. Let's not do a child. So let's do an adult. Uh, ooh, look at this person. This person is feeble, but she's also intelligent and beautiful, and she's a lunatic. Yeah, let's let's stay away from that. Um, let's find somebody close to his age at least. I don't want to be too. I don't want to be that dad, right? Okay, there's the no inheritable traits, no nothing. Uh, they are an albino, huh? This trait is congenital. Ooh, natural dread. Fifteen. I'm going with this. I'm going with the albino. She is nobly born. Oh, he still loses 350 prestige. Oh, never mind. That's not happening. Um, so, an adult. There are no adults that he can marry that have alliance power. Um, let's see, this is that albino. But, again, I lose a bunch of prestige. I want to gain prestige. I don't want to lose prestige. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be a possibility. Um, how about opinion of me? Oh, I wonder if that was, let's see, prestige gain. Doesn't matter. 
Doesn't matter. Prestige gain, there's nobody. Okay, well, I don't know. Um, let's do relevance then. I don't want him to lose 300 prestige. Spindly? Okay, I'm going to marry him off to her, even though he's going to lose 300 prestige. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. And my daughter, who is 16 now, she is of age. She can also get married. Now, for the men, there's lots of alliances. And if I married her off to one of these guys, they're old enough that they would die soon. Um, what's this? This is Skane. So this is her cousin. I don't really want to do that. Um, Athlone is over here. In a tiny little county, uh, which means that all of these are going to be even smaller. Huh? Uh, Hanover. I don't really want to ally her to somebody in here that I'm going to have to kill. All right, let's uh, let's you can you can marry for like love or something, okay? Um, how about this guy? No, that's England. Um, oh, he has claims on England. He has claims on England. So you know what? This is who I'm going to marry her off to because he has claims on uh, in England here, which is going to help me um, if I want to go ahead and do that. If I want to go ahead and uh, do those claims. So okay, we'll, we're back here. Back unpaused. Yeah, great. That's awesome. Yes, marriage. Great. They are accepting. Get out of here. Let's keep trying to siege down here. Seventy four. Now this is my other question with Crusader Kings here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they got annihilated. Um, I'm going to see what happens here, but typically when I've joined other people's wars, I don't get any type of reward or anything for that. Um, I don't know. It's really, it's really strange. It's really weird. I, I always end up with 0% uh, involvement. So we're going to check that out, see what happens here. Uh, but, you know, I'm hoping that I could get, like, something out of this. Um, I guess I should probably help over there, because this is going to be done by the time... I think as soon as they get this, uh, this barony sieged down, it's probably going to be it. Oh my goodness, I'm being raided. Of course I am. Okay, well... Um, as soon as this is done, here... they're done I'm gonna head back because that should be it right they are at nine this is what 92 percent all right so it's done now um, so Duke William II takes southern England oh and he actually took all of England okay um, now William the Conqueror is asking me to defeat Norway. Oh, as a defender. Okay, so Norway is trying to take over England now as well. Um, I'm going to climb this war because I have people raiding me. Uh, so I want my armies to come back here and protect against the raids. I don't know if they'll get him. All right, I'm pouring over the ledgers that detail my income from vassals. These numbers do not add up. The brazen Count Ragnar has me for a fool and has been paying too little. All right, the Count must pay his due. 99% he pays me 15 gold. <laughs> and I gain 100% uh, 100 stewardship lifestyle. Oh, hey, we had a lifestyle available, a perk available, didn't we? Cutting cornerstones, so that's good for building. My fort level, my garrison size increases. Now, garrison size is nice against these raids and things, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock that one. 
Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and do this because it's 99%. What are the other options? Um, Count Regnar increases his feudal taxes to me but loses opinion of me. Um, his taxes are... No, I'm not doing that one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and challenge him. I have a 99% chance of winning. So he pays me 15 gold, which is not much, but uh, that's what happens. All right, so this guy raided me already once. Oh, now I'm getting asked to go to war again. <coughs> no. Uh, can't help you right now. Sorry. Okay, here we go. I need to get here and stop this filthy raid. Ooh, I will probably use, he lose, he's a better army commander, um, and he, my, is recently disembarked. So that's telling me I'm probably going to lose this battle, which is unfortunate. I do have a lot more soldiers, but his soldiers must be better. Oh yeah, man, I'm getting whooped. Holy cow. Uh, okay, spend... My son Sven died. Oh, my knight and my son Sven died. My other knight was slain in battle. Wow, I'm losing lots of people here. My brother died. Um, since he died, my alliance with Prince Solomon of Hungary ended. It's going to give me some stress there. And, oh, I won. Just barely, but I won. Holy cow. All right. That's crazy. I'm going to go ahead and disband these guys. Now that I've gotten rid of those raiders, uh, let's see, disband the army, disband king, who is this? The king of Hungary is calling me, I don't have, I'm not allied with Hungary anymore. He's calling me to Poland, I'm not allied with you anymore, I'm not going to go there. I need to, to actually do some stuff in my own territory for a bit. Uh, Tooltip mode, space, okay. I won a victory there. Let's see what I have going on. Increase opinion. Count Ragnar, who's on my council, isn't he? Um, no, he's not. He has low opinion of me. I'm going to go ahead and start a scheme to increase his opinion of me. Uh, while I was at the market, I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Things are going too fast for me. While I was at the market with Thorgils. His attention was caught by a criminal change in the pillory. Thorgils watched him for a time when he did nothing but cough and beg for water. Thorgils rolled his eyes and kept on walking. So, if I choose this one, he will keep the trait callous. Uh, gives him negative two diplomacy, diplomacy, but increases his intrigue. So, net uh, neutral in terms of uh, traits. And he does have tread, uh, dread gain, tyranny loss, lower dread decay but people think less of him if i do this he can he will become arrogant um he will gain prestige but he will lo be, lose opinion uh, by a lot of those people let's see in this one becomes compassionate his natural dread goes down he doesn't have hardly any dread loses opinion of callous characters becomes virtuous to catholics um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Callus. It's net neutral, um, but he gains dread, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with uh, net neutral there. Okay, all right. Now I've got quite a bit of gold here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start. I'm gonna create a duchy. Uh, one of the things that that's gonna do for me, if I if I look at my realm here, one of the things that's gonna do for me, Prince uh, Torgals. Count Torgals, I mean. He doesn't pay me enough. And the reason is because I'm not his rightful liege. And his rightful liege needs to be the Duke of Skane. So I'm going to go ahead and create the Duke of Skane. The Duchy of Skane. Um, give that, keep that myself. And now, now Count Torgals is up to 11%, like he should be. And, wow, that actually increased... Um, my sons. Oh, that's right. I have a I have a hook on him, so he pays higher taxes, huh? Yeah, both of them do. Okay, but that gives me this title now. Also, now now because I have that, I can grant. Uh, what are those counties that he wants? Oh no, he wants the counties in Jilland, huh? Doesn't 
let's let's close this real quick and I want to look at uh, can I look at county titles how can I here we go go back here he wants these ones these are all in Yeland Jilland um, and I don't think I can make that into a duchy or it already is a duchy it is a duchy and I am already the Duke so I could grant him those titles if I wanted to um, let's see at least at least maybe one or two of them um, let's see if I give him the Duchy of Arhos um, then that will give him plus 25 opinion of me are they still his yeah he still wants those so let me give him two of those. Let me give him two of those. County of, uh, no, just let me give him one of those for now, because I'm going to lose, you know, all those levies and things. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now he's up to 83, so he likes me a lot now. Uh, Sway the good count while hosting lords and ladies from your from realms near. And far, some opportunities to portray my vassal Count Ragnar in good light have presented themselves. My lord, pray tell, who is the most elegant person you have heard of? <laughs> Alright, so I can spend some uh, prestige here and gain 10 opinion. Let's see, what is he? He's negative 27. Well, um, or I can gain some prestige. Well, I have a ton of prestige, um, so I'll go ahead and do this now. Gain a little bit from him. All right, I have children that lack guardians again. It looks like their guardians probably died in battle. My my uh, priest is doing some stupid things again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do you and Niels. You can be um, yeah, my sister-in-law. She can she can do that. Um, let's convert her culture. Oh no, I don't want her to convert to Russian culture. No, no, let's not do that. Actually, let's. Let's do... Yeah, we can go ahead and do that, but we're not going to convert culture. Okay. Here we go. Um, let's see what we got going on here. We got another call to war. So, this is Chernigov, which is actually a pretty big place. And they want me to go to war against Ruthenia. They don't really need my help. Um... Oh, you know what I forgot to look at? Shoot. I forgot to look after the war ended with that one to see. I'm going to go ahead and accept this one. I, I really want to see if I can get any uh, any percentage, you know, of, of doing anything. Okay, so this is going to be down, where is it? All the way over here. Oh, wow, that's a huge territory. So I'm going to go ahead and come. It's a long march. Um, I'm going to go ahead and come here. Make our way down there. See what we can do. Now, when I'm in the wars, I like to kind of speed it up a little bit, but then things start to happen so fast. <laughs> Let's get going there. Oh, look, I can go all the way up that river. That is cool. I can go all the way up the river, all the way across to there. That's really, really cool. Okay, let's come down. My son, Eric, comes of age. All right. That's great. Good job, Eric. Now I can arrange your marriage to somebody, which I shall do after the war. No, I don't think I'm going to get here in time, but we'll see. Oh, war was just declared on me. I'm going to have to go back now. Uh, the county is Slessig. Where is the county of Slesig? Slesig. Oh, right here. Right next to me. They've declared war on me. Um, that's not cool. Uh, so I'm sorry, my my guys over there. I'm going to have to come home because now I'm getting attacked over here. I do have a lot of money. I could rally some, uh, some troops, some mercenaries if I need to. So we might need to do that. Okay, Thorgals seems to be having a difficult time at our latest feast. He buried his face in his food. 
And the only talk he did was asking for serving after serving. So if I choose this, he becomes gluttonous, which makes him lose stress. Uh, but I don't know. I don't really want him to be a glutton. Or he can become impatient, lose some learning, but increase in prestige and increase in hostile scheme power or become shy. Now, I don't want him to become shy. Uh, shy is difficult in this game, although I guess if he's not my heir, I don't really care because uh, I'm not going to be playing him. Uh, but I'm going to go with impatient. I think impatient is the least bad of those. All right, they're coming up. They're going to start... Now, what I can do here, I got another stewardship perk. Levy reinforcement. Oh, yes, definitely. I definitely want that reinforcement rate. That is going to make a huge difference uh, doing that. Uh, I can call some of my allies to war here. I have William the Conqueror right next door. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, he will not. Oh, that's not the war that I want. Select a war. Uh, this one. That's the one I want. And yes, please come to my aid here. Excellent. Thank you. I don't think I need anybody else if William the Conqueror comes. My son Olaf has been wounded. Send for the physician. There's nothing that can be done. Okay. Let's find a court physician. Oh, they destroyed me. Uh, court physician. Hildegard is quite experienced. Uh, 105 gold. Holy cow. Um, I'm going to look for, I'm going to search for somebody. Let's see. How do I find people? Where's the, where's the find people thing? Find character. I'm going to look for somebody who has traits, 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 traits. filter by trait. I guess this is just everybody, huh? Um, I want to filter by learning. Uh, Charna, that's my son's wife, right? She has 19 learning. Let's see. I think I can just make her my court position. Let's do that. She only costs 10. That's much better. And she has a higher opinion than me. Both of them fail to impress. I'm not going to do that. Uh, okay, so that guy, man, he whooped me. Um, don't do any more than necessary. He's He's... 21 he's young yeah he's wounded but let's just do let's just do the basic here all right now this guy is kicking my butt i really need some help over here my king uh, is not coming uh so what i'm gonna have to do i think let's see let's see who else we can call in let's call um let's call sweden he's right here that's not what i want this one. Let's call Sweden. He's already at war, so he won't come. Congratulations, Sven. Need to look into that. Let's slow this down a little bit. Um, he won't come to war with me, so can't do him. Uh, how about Hungary? Yeah, he'll come. So come on, let's go. Uh, let's see, Catharism. Catharism, teaching that all matter was created by Satan and is therefore inherently tainted with sin. Reject a materialistic world. Nah, we're going to stay Catholic. That doesn't sound interesting to me. Um, okay, so do I have some... Uh, yes, thank you for joining my war. I need some help here. Let's get over here. He's still going to kick my butt because his troops are better than mine. Um, so... That's unfortunate, but I gotta try and do something. He's kicking my butt. I may have to hire some mercenaries if I can't get some of my allies to get over here pretty quickly. Come on, come on. Am I gonna catch up with him? Oh, now you're running away, huh? Okay, good. I think I'm going to catch up with him here. Uh, again, this one I will probably lose. I'm defending in a fo He's defending in a forest, and he's a better army commander than me. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Betrothed, can marry. Oh, yeah, my son came of age, so he can marry. Hold on. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, they're kicking my butt.
Yep, that didn't go very well. Again. Okay. Um, so I've been defeated, been defeated. Uh, my betrothed. Uh, let's see. Can get married. Let's pause real quick and, and do some stuff here. Um, family members can get married. There's my kids. Were they not already betrothed? Uh, okay, we're gonna have to wait on that. Let's let's try and finish up this war real quick. <laughs> uh, okay, Prince Harold now as my um. He's not helping me. He just gave somebody a title, an unpressed claim. My daughter is about to leave court. Why? Because you're not married? Okay, let's get you married then. Let's do that. Uh, Kingdom of Sweden. I already have an alliance with the Kingdom of Sweden, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do another alliance because they're related, of course. He will not accept if I do it matrilineally, but I don't care. Let's go ahead and do that. That probably means she's going to leave court anyway. Uh, let's see what else here. Okay. I've got to get back over here and start doing some stuff for the war. Okay, great. Alright, my allies are not coming to help me out at all. But it looks like this guy is at war with somebody else too. So that's actually a good thing for me because uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to actually have to send this guy some gold um, because I don't want to lose opinion. Uh, he's already lost opinion of me. Um, but I don't want to break my alliance. I'm going to go ahead and send him some money to make up for that. Uh, I'm sorry, I had another war declared uh, on me. What I can actually do is try and raise some mercenaries. Ah, dang it. He's coming back now. And he's seizing my he's sieging my capital. That's can't do that. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to get some mercenaries because I didn't get any allies to come help me out. Uh, so let's go to military mercenaries here. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's go with these guys. I guess they're expensive. But these guys are only two. They're decent quality, and these are high quality. Um, so it's a little bit more, but they are high quality. I wonder if... How much is this? 455. These guys are not available. 329, 330. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go with these high quality uh, guys here. And I'm going to grab them real quick. And... We together are going to get over here. Oh no, and they're going to get their butts kicked before I ever get there. Come on, make it, make it. Hold on, guys. Hold out, hold out. Come on. Come on. Come on! Am I going to make it? Okay, good. I made it. All right, good. So we were finally able to take those guys down. Um, okay, what do we got here? Another council meeting, another conflict. Stuart Skalm and Siegfried, and Archbishop Siegfried. Um, he doesn't like me. He likes me a little bit, but he's a terrible Archbishop. Arguing violently about the ongoing war. Uh, as king, I could silence them with a single word, but I have a better idea. My diplomatic pursuits uh, have given me insight. 
So I can side with one of them or I can find a compromise that gives me a weak hook on both of them. Well, I only have a 10% of doing that. Um, but I, I do have a good, a good chance of arranging a good compromise, well, basically a coin flip, but arranging a good compromise and getting closer to both of them. I'm going to try and do that. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, good. So I got that. They both find that. Okay, so now I've got to get back here and take out the siege. I did capture an enemy combatant. Oh, look at this. I have some allies coming. This is outstanding. Thank you, William the Conqueror. He definitely <laughs> came to my aid way too late, but that's okay. Now I have lots more uh, people than I needed. Oh, you're going to come and raid me. Of course, this guy's going to come raid me. Oh, good. He's leaving. He doesn't want any of this. I spent all of that money on those guys. That's unfortunate. Okay, what? I can create some titles. I don't have the money for that anymore. Um, I can marry off my uh, family members. Uh, my heir is third in line to inherit Yiland. I'm in line to inherit all of those. I'm second in line? I thought I was the Duke of Yiland. What is going on here? I'm so confused. I am not the Duke of Yiland. But I am... So, do I have... Who is the Duke of Yiland? My son. Huh. I'm so confused. I, I'm really confused about how this one works. The, the, the Scotland scenario was a lot more, um, you know, my my speed on that. All right, I can answer the, ransom this mayor. He'll give me 110 gold. I am definitely doing that. That is a powerful ransom. Uh, you don't often get ones that are that good. Uh, okay, Thorgals. My ward, he seems to enjoy my latest feast immensely. Cannot stop talking about the rich glow. Okay, so he can become greedy. I don't really want him to become greedy, although the monthly income will be higher. Uh, he can become gregarious. I like gregarious. I'm going to take the stress, although that's going to give me a break. If I do if I do that, it's going to give me a mental break. So I'm just going to leave him with greedy so I don't, so I don't have that problem there. Okay. Let's siege down this. Thank you. I needed that money. Okay. Got that. Oh, what the heck? Let's finish that. There we go. Now we are up on that. Let's come in here. Let's siege this down. All right, my daily siege progress is slow, 1.1. See, it's come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to Rome, the capital of the, my vassal, Count Ragnar. Um, I can spend $55 and help with my scheme. He actually has positive of me right now, and I don't want to spend more money. So I'm going to say no for right now. Okay, this guy's going to my capital, but it looks like my allies are going to go take care of him too. So that should be helpful. Yes, perfect. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Go ahead and take him out. Oh, who's calling me to war? Hungary is now calling me to war. I'm sorry. I'm in my own war right now. And I'm in somebody else's war that I didn't help with at all. I'm going to have to say no. Oops, pause because I got called to war. Unpause there.
Oh, now you're back you're back sieging me again? What the heck is this? That's okay, we'll take care of you. Okay, seize down that. I am at looks like thirty six percent. Um let's come across here, do this one. Let's do both of you on this one. Yeah, so his guys, he's all over the... No, this is somebody else. No, that's him. But he is all over the place here, getting his butt kicked. Got some slow sieging. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to create some onagers. So what do mangonels do? Mangonels... Oh, their siege progress 0.6 per day. I'm definitely doing that. So, when they reinforce me, that's going to really help. I'm up to 1.4 a day. Oh, that's because of the sickness. Okay. Uh, join the war here. Sweden against Allen. Uh, again, I'm already in two wars. I'm going to have to say no. So there is a downside to having allies, right? If your allies go to war, <laughs> then you're going to have a lot of... Uh, you're going to be fighting a lot of wars. Oh, pause again. Every time I get called to war, I forget about that. Oh, my spy master. Someone is plotting to kill me. All right, we need to stop that, of course. Um, so to do that, actually, what I can do is change him to uh, Disrupt Scheme. He's already on Disrupt Scheme, so that should be good. All right, got that. Um, let's try take this one. I'm at 70%. All right, my Spy Master. He's certain that Prince Knude, my own son and heir, is scheming against me. Uh... If I imprison him, then my entire family uh, loses opinion of me. Um, but I can't just sit here and let him scheme to try and kill me. So I'm sorry. I'm going to have to tell everybody. Uh, you are just standing there. Let's get you in on this siege over here. Alright, once I finish this war, I'm going to wrap this up for the day. Part 1 of the the restoration of the Dane Law. It uh, hasn't been going too well for, for me so far. Uh, but uh, hopefully things will start to go better. Pretty soon my, my Prussians are going to be leaving me. So... All right, wounded. My injured son. The time has come to treat your son. Yeah, let's treat him. He's, let's do no more than is necessary. I've already picked that. This should give me the win right there. I'm going to go ahead and enforce my demands, which basically means he pays me some money. Um, so that's done there. Now I can take my guys back over, oof, all the way over here if I want to. Um, maybe I can just come over to here and like start sieging them here. I have been corresponding with your Chancellor, Prince Harold. This has been shameful, this diplomatic display. Oh, great. Loses 30 opinion of me. Thank you, son. I'm going to move these guys over here, but I don't think that they are going to... Oh, look at that. I got a perk. Well, 
should I do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and finish up this. So we're gonna go with cutting. Even though I'm not building anything right now, I do have the money to build something, so maybe I should, maybe I should do that. Let's see what I can build here. Um, can't upgrade that. Uh, clearings, uh, military academies, let's see. This increases my knight's effectiveness. Is this not my... Where is my holding? Oh, is it because I don't... This is... I do hold the county. But I don't hold the duchy yet. So actually what I'm going to do, what I'm going to have to do here, is create the duchy. Of course I'm being raided. Um, so I'm going to create the duchy here. That's going to allow me then to do some more of that stuff. But now I'm out of money, so I'll have to wait till I get some more money. Where are my soldiers? Okay, I'm raiding down here. Join the Peasant Uprising. Kingdom of England wants me to join the Peasant Uprising. You can take care of your own Peasant Uprising. I'm sorry. And this guy's at 95%. Um, once I finish this siege, he'll be at 100. For sure. And then that's going to definitely let me know. I spent, I gave him a bunch of money and I also raided down a territory. So that, let's see what that does. Okay, what how I, I need to um, compliment this guy. What's he at now? He is at 28. So he kind of likes me. This will give him an extra 10. Um, let's see, what is he known for. He is content, gregarious, and greedy. Um, so I'm going to say he's going to go for soaring ambition. He's kind of greedy. Let's see if he likes that. All right, they're at 100% now. So let's see what happens here. Oh, good. So he did like it. So give him an extra 10. He's 38 now. All right, so this is done. Go ahead and finish up your war. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, good. So my war contribution, I did. I got 170 prestige and plus 100 uh, with uh, with the prince. Cool, okay. So that's awesome. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and disband these armies. Am I still being raided? Doesn't look like it. I'm going to go ahead and disband these armies. And be done with war for a while. My mercenary contract is expiring soon. Um, I can go ahead, maybe, and disband them. I don't think I need them anymore. Uh, I have them for, what, four months left? I don't really need them for anything. It's going to take them probably that whole four months to get back over here now that they're all the way... Where the heck are they? Oh, they're, I disbanded them already. Okay. That's fine. I don't really need them. So that's good there. Okay, uh, that's going to be it for today, for episode one of, uh, of the Dane Law series. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see in the future in the comments below. And definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, definitely always looking for new subscribers, uh, new content. Thanks for being a part of the Secret Base. We'll see you later.